Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how I make this drag and drop properties with boundaries. It will never exceed the limits of the screen even if I resize the screen. So this is gonna be a quick video. I will show you how to do that and basically you can implant it to any kind of uh, panel. Let's say we have this panel, uh, I just made a title which is a label, inside this panel I have only one kind of code, this line, and if I run it, it will be also draggable, so it doesn't matter um, which uh, panel you are using, as long as it's panel name and title inside label and let's get started this is our game where we are left from the last part we have this user interface we will create inside of here a script and let's start coding let's define few variables Let's create a function. With this function, it basically adds uh, to the database uh, all the windows we have to drag and drop them. It will initialize all the windows. And the input is label node. Basically, right now I'm defining function um, functions that will um, that will handle the labels when the mouse enters and when the mouse exits the label. wrong with this one oh. This will change this parameter, will change the properties of our label. So basically, when you create new label, it will be filter ignore. It will ignore the mouse. It won't uh, accept any directions from the mouse, any inputs from the mouse. This command will pass the mouse parameters. Let's create both of those functions.
So far so good, now if I test it, oh, right. I need to initialize it, this command goes right here, set ready. Here you see in, out, at the output. So far so good. Let's go back, remove these lines, and we will create an input function. Basically this function will listen to any events that happens inside the user interface. Okay, so far so good. Basically, this is all. Let me check. Here. Works fine, but no boundaries yet. Boundaries, what I'm basically do, I am just calculating the viewport at any given uh, moment and calculating the boundaries of our chat box. This is very long piece of code. I will just copy and paste here this is the code over here and this one like this let me check great works that's done that's it for today thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe also i'm just using this kind of code i can create whatever inventory or whatever item whatever window i want as long as it will have a label 
or some kind of co uh, control to to control the mouse movement and that's all thank you